Hey, what's going on everybody? Hope you're having a good day as always. My name is Michael and thanks for joining me. So today I got a question for you guys and luckily every single person can participate in this question because it's relevant to everybody. Now this question specifically has to deal with cash and credit. And what I want to know is what is more important to you? And I've got a specific scenario here in a second. But before I announce that, what I want to do is give a shout out to Coven Miner. He has become my most recent Patreon supporter. He pledged $1. And you know what, Coven? That means the world to me. Thank you so much. I appreciate everything you guys do for me. And this honestly just makes me feel so freaking good. Thank you so much. Now, if you guys want to support the channel, don't feel like you have to support me on Patreon. There's many ways. Like, commenting, sharing this video. I've also got an Amazon link down below, not to buy anything specific, but if you happen to be buying anything off Amazon and you go through my link, it gives me a commission without any extra charge to you. So bookmark it if you want so you can use it every single time. All of it is just easy way of helping out the channel. But back to the question at hand, cash versus credit. Here's the scenario. Option number one, I give you $1,000 cash. Do whatever you want with it. I don't care. It doesn't matter. It's your money. Money in the bank, really simple. Number two, I'm not going to give you any cash, but what I would do is magically wave my fingers and your credit score goes up 100 points, right? That's it. Very simple. Your credit score automatically increases. This is what you have to choose between $1,000 cash or 100 points higher on your credit score. What would you choose? And I'm here to say there's not a right or wrong answer. This is really just an exercise in evaluating your financial positions and understanding what you need to work on more than anything else, right? I would be willing to bet the majority of you guys would probably say, give me a thousand bucks. And I would too. And I'll explain why later. But I'm here to say that that honestly is probably not the right answer for a lot of people. And that's why I want to talk about credit scores. So while $1,000 would be ridiculously nice for pretty much anyone and everyone, 100 points higher on your credit score could translate to much more than $1,000, right? Let's say you're trying to refinance a loan or you're buying a car or a house soon. 100 points can, can easily easily exceed a thousand dollars in savings, right? Like I did some really basic math here earlier and in a hypothetical scenario where someone's buying a car, right? And let's say they've got a 580 credit score. Okay. And their interest rate that they're going to get on the car loan because of their score is 10%, right? Well, if they would be a hundred points higher, their interest rate could go down to 5%, right? And the difference between 10% and 5% on a $15,000 car loan is a difference of $2,600. So yeah, it's really obvious. I'd rather have $2,600 in savings than a thousand dollars in cash. And the amount of savings is even different for larger loan, like mortgages, right? Let's say you're buying a $200,000 house and you've got a 650 score and your interest rate's gonna be 5%. Well, if your score is 750 and you can get 4%, even though it's just 1% off, the amount of savings that you would save through that 1% would translate to $49,000. Yeah, maybe that's spread across 30 years, but still, answer me this. Would you rather have $1,000 tomorrow or save $49,000 over the next 30 years? I know which one I would choose. Now that we've gone over these scenarios, there's one last scenario I want to go over, and that is kind of why you could or should take the thousand dollars even if you have debt. Well, let's say that you owe a thousand dollars on a thousand dollar credit card, right? That means that you are maxed out on your credit card. I'm sure they're charging you some ridiculously high interest rate, and you decide, you know what, forget the credit score, I'm taking the money, I'm paying that off. Well, I actually think that's the right decision because what that's going to do is accomplish two things. One, you're paid off on your credit card, right? So now whatever interest you were going to have to pay because of the loan amount, you're now down to zero, right? You don't pay anything because you're now paid off and it doesn't really matter what interest rate they, they charge you. What it's also going to do, and in fact, kind of the reason why I want to share this specifically is that it's ironic, I think, is that it will shoot up your credit score. Maybe not a hundred points, right? But going from maxed out to totally paid off in your credit card is going to have huge impacts on your score in a relatively short amount of time. So as you can see, there's a lot of different ways you can approach this question. And again, what I think it does more than anything is illustrate how we need to look at our own financial situations and find out what do we need to focus on. For someone like me, I'll take the thousand dollars because my credit score is already high enough to where I don't need it to go any higher, right? Um, 
considering that it tops out at 850 and I'm like at an 805 or 810, I don't really care if it goes to an 850 or not, right? It doesn't have any impact on me because I don't plan on getting any new debt. Maybe you're someone that you need to work on your credit score more than anything else to save you even more than $1,000 in the long run. The point is we need to pay attention to this stuff. It's really not difficult. It's just a matter of kind of digging in and focusing on getting our situations resolved. But that's what I want to talk about today. Definitely let me know what your thoughts are down below. What would you rather do? Would you rather have $1,000 or would you rather increase your credit by 100 points? That's the question of the day. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share. You know what to do, but take care. I'll see you guys next time. Hey guys, I know I just said this stuff, but let me say it again. Thank you so much for watching this video. I appreciate all the support that you guys give me. And to support you, here's two more videos that I've made in the past in case you haven't seen them. Don't forget to share these with your friends and family so we can help all the people achieve their financial goals. Likewise, if there's anything that you would want to see made that you haven't seen thus far, definitely don't hesitate to let me know. But thanks again, take care, and have a good day.